soul food, a cuisine, that fuses West Africa, Western Europe, and the Americas, is no stranger to controversy. Though the label floated around black culture at least a decade earlier, soul food had its breakout moment in the 1960s, when black power advocates declared their independence from the narrative forced upon African Americans by white hegemony. Food was included in that ambitious project. Soul food was presented to the world as a cuisine wholly distinct from Southern food, even though they shared common ingredients, culinary techniques, and history. Today we're going to tell you about the most iconic soul food dishes. Hi! You're on the Best American Food Channel, and this is a selection of the best soul food dishes. Number 10. Cornbread. There is no food more soul than the classic cornbread. The soft, but firm baked bread made with cornmeal is easily the most important memorabilia of the American past, which is especially associated with the American South. Corn has been a staple ingredient among the Native Americans, who created the first version of what is today known as cornbread. In soul culture, cornbread is not regarded as the plain bread replacement, but more as a substantial side dish. It is often used as an accompaniment to different dishes. Number 9. Collard greens. Collard greens are a type of green leafy vegetable, that is characterized by a slightly bitter flavor that is eliminated through cooking. The most traditional way to enjoy collard greens in the South is slow cooked in water or broth along with smoky cured meats, such as ham hock, bacon, ham, pork jowl, or smoked turkey wings or legs. The long braising results in tender southern style collard greens, without any hint of bitterness in their flavor, and drenched in an intensely flavored broth. This dish has been attributed to African slaves, and it is one of the specialties that are part of the soul food cuisine. Southern style collard greens usually accompany various meat specialties, although they can also be eaten on their own. Number 8. Fried Green Tomatoes, and Fried Okra. Fried green tomatoes are a staple of Southern United States. The dish is made with firm, unripe, and tangy green tomatoes that are sliced, dipped in seasoned cornmeal, then deep fried. Ideally, the tomatoes should have a crunchy crust and a succulent interior after the deep frying. Fried green tomatoes are typically served as an appetizer or a side dish, and sometimes even as a mid-afternoon snack. They can also be used as an ingredient for sandwiches, such as the fried green tomato po'boy. A popular side dish called fried okra is a must-have at any southern festivity, and almost every southern cook has a favorite recipe. Okra is usually coated with cornmeal or flour and shallow fried in oil. It is sometimes served with ranch dressing, used for dipping the fried okra in it. Number 7. Banana Pudding, and Peach Cobbler. Banana pudding is a sweet treat originating from the southern United States. It typically consists of layered vanilla custard, sliced bananas, and wafers or ladyfingers. The concoction is then topped with either meringue or whipped cream. This dessert became closely associated with the American South after World War II, when numerous banana pudding recipes started to get published in newspapers. Nowadays, there are many variations of this classic dessert that is often seen at church picnics and family gatherings. One of the quintessential summer desserts, peach cobbler is a deep dish fruit pie with a fragrant peach filling covered with a thick biscuit dough crust. This luscious dessert was invented by early American settlers in the 19th century, and was named after its rough appearance, as the pie looks cobbled together. Peach cobbler is best enjoyed warm and goes amazingly well with a scoop of vanilla ice cream. To honor this popular dessert, National Peach Cobbler Day is celebrated annually on April 13. Number 6. Sweet Potato Pie. Sweet Potato Pie is a traditional pie with origins in the southern parts of the United States of America, and it's especially popular in North Carolina. The dessert is prepared as an open pie without the top crust, its interior usually filled a combination of milk, eggs, sugar, and mashed sweet potatoes. It is often flavored with spices such as vanilla or nutmeg in the south, while in the north, some like to top the pie with marshmallow pieces. Previously, the pie was made for celebrations, communal gatherings, and large family meals, that tradition has continued up to this day, and it is commonly prepared for Thanksgiving in the American South. Number 5. Mac and Cheese Mac and cheese, a seemingly simple combination of macaroni and melted cheese, is not only an iconic dish of soul cuisine, but also in general one of the most popular dishes in the United States. The preferred American combination consists of curved macaroni pasta and cheddar cheese, but modern varieties include vegetables, breadcrumb toppings, or gourmet ingredients such as crab, lobster, or truffles. Mac and cheese is a cheap, no-frills dish that could feed the whole family, 
and it is no surprise it has become a mainstay in American kitchens. It is the ultimate comfort food and is often listed as one of the most iconic American dishes. Number 4. Smothered Pork Chops Smothered pork chops is a traditional dish from Louisiana consisting of pork chops smothered in rich gravy. Although there are many versions of this dish and just as many recipes, it is usually made with pork chops, onions, celery, bell peppers, garlic, flour, water, and creole seasoning. The pork chops are fried often in bacon grease, smothered in gravy, then served, either as a dish in itself, or accompanied by rice, field peas, or smothered potatoes. Number 3. Red Beans and Rice, and Hoppin' John Louisiana's comfort food is nicely represented in red beans and rice, a dish that is traditionally prepared on Mondays, with the aroma of red beans drifting through the neighborhoods. The dish originates from the New Orleans Creole kitchens of the 1700s and the 1800s. The beans are typically cooked over low heat throughout the day, with additions such as ham hock and andouille sausage. When served, the beans are spooned over hot rice, and the whole thing is often spiced up with some hot sauce. A classic soul food dish, Hop and John is a hearty combination of rice, black-eyed peas, and ham hock or bacon. Even though the dish is consumed throughout the year, it is typically served on New Year's Day due to the fact that a lot of Southerners believe that eating black-eyed peas on the first day of the year will bring prosperity and good luck. The peas represent pennies or coins, and a real coin is often placed under the bowls. Hop and John is often accompanied by cabbage, representing wealth, since it is the color of the US currency and those who eat it will supposedly earn more money in the following year than those who don't indulge in it. Number 2. Fried Catfish, and Shrimp and Grits Fried Catfish or Southern Fried Catfish is a traditional fish specialty from the American South. Catfish fillets are first soaked in buttermilk and then rolled in cornmeal mixture before they are deep fried in hot oil. The cornmeal crust gives the fish a unique flavor and nice crispiness on the outside while remaining tender and moist on the inside. Fried catfish is traditionally served alongside cornmeal dumplings, known as hush puppies, tartar sauce, coleslaw, and sometimes fried pickles. This beloved southern fish dish is available in numerous fish fry eateries in the south. What started as a simple fisherman's dish made with shrimp cooked in bacon grease, then served over creamy grits is today a cult southern dish. Today, there are numerous variations of the dish found throughout the south, with added hot spices, barbecue sauces, tomatoes, and fried eggs. The dish is so popular that each September, there is the annual Shrimp and Grits Festival held on Jekyll Island in Georgia. Number 1. Fried Chicken The most popular food of the Southern cuisine, fried chicken is the theme of many arguments where everyone involved seems to have a favorite, be it what their mothers used to make, a cult roadside eatery, or a bygone restaurant. However, it is universally agreed that the meat must be moist, succulent, and tender, coated with a crunchy, golden brown crust. It all started during the colonization period, when Scottish immigrants settled in the South, bringing their fried chicken recipes along. The African slaves then introduced new seasonings and spices, and the dish quickly gained popularity. Typical seasonings include salt, pepper, and hot chilies, and the pieces of meat should be edible by hand so that the consumer can bite both the crust and the meat at the same time. Fried chicken are traditionally accompanied by buttered biscuits, southern potato salad, mashed potatoes, or cream gravy on the side. Chicken and waffles is a variation of fried chicken, which is an iconic dish of soul cuisine. What's your favorite soul food dishes? Share your opinions on today's selection in the comments, subscribe to my channel not to miss the next interesting video about the best American food, and I say goodbye to you until the next video. Thank you all, bye, everyone.